Okay, here's a quick overview on how to install the Anaconda Suite on your Windows computer. Uh, go visit www.anaconda.com. Under the Products menu, choose the Individual Edition. This is the free version. Scroll down to the Download button. Click Download. And that will send you to the graphical installer. Um, now, you can carry on, download this, and sort of follow your nose, but if you're unsure about how to do this, uh, there are installation instructions. So if you search um, for Anaconda installation instructions and click on the top link there, you can see on the left-hand side installation for a variety of different situations. We're doing Windows here, so let's click on installing on Windows. Um, and as I alluded to earlier, you're going to download the, the Anaconda installer. Uh, part 2, you don't really need to do unless you're into that kind of thing. Um, click on the installer, run it. Take mostly the um, defaults. And uh, after a good long time, I don't know, the last time I did this, it took several minutes. And sometimes there's, there are phases where it's not really clear what's happening. Just be patient. It'll happen. Um, if you're successful, you should get to this window here. Um, all right, so now you've successfully installed the Anaconda software suite. How do you actually use it? Well, down at the bottom of this page, you see a link, Getting Started with Anaconda. Click on that, and uh, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see how to do a first program. Let's say, you know, their first time or something like that. Um, and we're doing Windows here, so let's click on Windows. And if you go to the Start menu, um, and for me, that's hitting the little Windows button on my on my laptop. Um, if you or you can just click on the little Start button down here. Um, and I usually just search by starting to type the word Anaconda. And there are a couple of different ways of running Anaconda. Um, let's start with the most common way, and that's using the Anaconda Navigator. So click on Anaconda Navigator, and if you wait a moment, a portal will appear with all of the various uh, components that are available in your Anaconda suite. It takes a little bit of time to load. like it has loaded back there in the background. Not sure why it didn't come up front, but uh, here we are. Okay. Oops. Now, um, this has lots of different panels associated with different um, pieces of the suite. Um, we're not interested in most of this stuff. We're only interested in the um, Jupyter panel. Uh, so the Jupyter Notebook panel. So scroll down until you find a panel that looks like this, and then click the Launch button. And for whatever reason, I'm not get There we go. Click Launch. And it's going to do some behind-the-scenes stuff, but eventually it's going to find your browser, and it's going to open up uh, a file manager inside your browser. This is the Jupyter file manager and it's running inside my web browser. In this case it's Firefox, but if you use Chrome or Safari or whatever, it's going to run inside there. Um, I typically, like here's a new class for you, I would create a new folder and try to be organized here. So we'll create a new folder and um, it's probably down here at the bottom somewhere. Yeah, untitled folder. And I would rename that folder and call it like Math203 or CS203, whatever you want to call it. So there it is. And then go inside there. And then I would even make another folder, call it First Time. Again, we'll click on the folder. We'll click Rename. We'll call it First Time. Uh, go inside that folder and now create a new Python notebook. And you'll notice a new tab starts up 
and you're left with a blinking cursor and an empty prompt. This is the Jupyter Notebook for, that you just created. Um, here you can import libraries that might be important for data analysis. For example, we'll be using the pandas library quite a lot. So you could type the command import pandas as pd, and then when you're ready to execute a cell, you can do more than one thing in a cell, right? I can hit enter and uh, maybe import numpy. Uh, but when I'm finished, I can hit shift enter, and it will execute the entire cell. Um, what, what can I do in the next cell? Well, this cell now actually knows that you imported pandas and numpy, so you can use things in those modules. For example, I can print um, the, ver the, the value of pi, np.py, <clears throat> 3.14, etc. Um, I can do any kind of Python stuff here, a equals 3, print a, and I can type as many lines as I want in the cell, and when I'm ready to execute the cell, I hit shift enter. Um, notice that if I um, do something like uh, b equals 4, and then print b, and then b equals 3, and print b, uh, that it's keeping track of what you've done. So even though they're in separate little cells, um, there's a, sort of a collective environment happening here. Okay, so that's the overview of installing and starting um, Anaconda and Jupiter. Um, how do you quit? Uh, if you want to be careful and not leave stray processes, processes running around and not um, um, lose work, uh, save your work. So you can click the Save button here. Um, this also auto saves pretty frequently, so sometimes it's not necessary. And then close and halt. And that will shut the thing down and uh, close the tab. And now we're back at the file manager. If we reload the file manager, um, ah, we forgot to rename the workbook. Let me let me open up this this uh, notebook again, and let's rename the notebook. Uh, let's call it first time. Okay, so by clicking up here on the name, I can change it to whatever I want. I'll click save. I'll click click close and halt. And now I see first time. Here. Uh, I'm done with Jupiter for the day. You know, I'm, I've made my video. I'm going to hit quit. Um, the server stopped. You have, to sh you have shut down Jupiter. You can now close the tab. That's the cleanest, most appropriate way to get out. You're not really going to hurt anything if you just close the browser and walk away with the possibility of maybe losing some recent work in the notebook that you are currently working on. Um, but I recommend that you kind of go through this shutdown process uh, every time just to be on the safe side. Okay, that's it.